How long you think this been like this? It's been like this. I've been in this been like this for years. The guy mother used to live here and my mother. Okay. They, and they both went my mother went on. We grew up over here as kids. I moved around the country yes, seven and okay. okay. Now we back, but this house has been here for like years. Now camping is abandoned house. Right. And so right. what happened? I lost lawnmowers, different things. And so we boarded it up. Uh police came out a couple of times. Of we course. said somebody in there, they said we can't go in there. Thank God, man, for what you're doing appreciate because you, appreciate the weed just the other day, a, a four foot snake. Ooh. Yeah. It was a four foot uh, water moccasin. Amazing. This is a God thing. I yeah. appreciate your company Absolutely and your correct, vision and what you're you. doing. Yes, Thank sir, you, man. Brother. Thank you. Look at this trash. Mm, 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 mm. See, the other houses are pretty much low, kept. They're working on this house next door, down the street. And you look at this. Whew, this is a monster. So as you can see, this place is a monster. We're going to get this thing cleaned up, make it unofficial, especially for these neighbors and this neighborhood. So sit back and relax. It's time to get cutting. All right, y'all, before I get started, this is uh, the Wild Badger Proper Tool they sent me. It's a gasser. It's a 26 cc. It's a four in one, meaning by that it has multiple attachments. Now, I do love this, that it's multiple uh, use. You can use uh, a head trimmer. You can use the edger, the brush cutter. For this video, I'll be using the weed heater and their edger. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is that with other ones, it has all the attached pieces for what you're trying to use. What I mean by that, with that brush cutter, you have to basically take this head off. Now, if they already had the tap with the brush cutter assembly, it, it, it'll be a lot easier and a lot faster for me to you know, switch over. So I don't like about that. But the power is there, it's lightweight. From other reviews, they said it's heavy, but me, I do this on the regular, so it's very lightweight. So I definitely would suggest for y'all to check this out. It's the Wild Badger Power Tool. Uh, head trimmer 26cc with the multi attach uh, four in one definitely go check it out for sure i will leave that link in the bottom of the description of this video so let's get back into it y'all He stopped me, y'all. And this is Pastor Tommy out of the Houston area. This is, this is South Park, Houston. And how long do you think this has been like this? It's been like this. I've been in this been like this for years. The guy mother used to live here and my mother. Okay. They, and they both went, my mother went on. We grew up over here as kids. I moved around the country. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now we back, but this house has been here for like years. The last I seen, the mother was here for Harvey. Okay, she that's back in 20, 2017. No one has been here. The city summer a couple of times. We call, call, call. And guys was living in there. 
still in Oscar around that, uh, some, you know, they were living in their camp in this abandoned house. Right. And so right. what happened, I lost lawnmowers, different things. And so we boarded it up. Uh, police came out a couple of times. We said somebody in there, they said, we can't go in there. So here we are, everybody was complaining. Okay. So we thank God, man, for what you're doing appreciate because you, the weed just the other day, a, a four foot snake. Ooh. Yeah, it was a four foot uh, water moccasin. Came from over here. I'm like, man, we don't cut the yard. Right, right, right. But I appreciate right. God for what you're doing hey, because, the, you know, it's a mess, it's man. A mess, it's man. a mess, it's and a mess. 10,000 people don't stop by trying to buy the place. Correct. Nobody's done nothing. The city, nobody's doing nothing. Right. So you the first one stopped by. Man, I appreciate you. This is amazing. I've never seen this done before. See, I've never seen See, uh, okay, okay. Like y'all see, y'all. See. I'm, like, I'm, I'm one of a few guys. You got MD Lawn Care. Shout out to those guys as well. I've been trying to holler at them. They on the southeast, east side where I'm originally from. And they cleaned up too. So no avail for Houston area. MD Lawn Care, y'all. They doing their thing. But I'm one of the few brothers doing this in Houston, man. And, I, and, and you know, hearing this from the pastor saying that it's been years. Years. In the city, once I like, I, like y'all, y'all, y'all know my channel. Y'all put the titles. Yeah. The city avoids this, and that's a fact. He has proven word that the city of Houston. I'm gonna put it out there. Yeah. They are not doing anything, and I'm sure other cities across the country. But I'm in Houston, Texas, yeah. as you see. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, this is bad, man. As y'all yeah. can see, man. And I, I'm just thankful that I'm able to do this, and I'm gonna continue to keep doing. Yeah, this. this is not this is not stage anything. I'm, nah, this ain't stage. I'm up in my bedroom looking out here at the window. Right, that. right, right. And uh, I say, man, man, what's they doing? You know, I thought y'all was not coming with just, you know, digging for stuff. And I came out and said, but y'all, man, this is amazing. This is a God thing. I yeah. appreciate your coming and your vision and what you're doing. Yes, sir, man. Thank you, man. If everybody would do something. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I tell it, man. I mean, this is a God-given uh, gift that I do. And I have a lung care, sir. My uncle helped me out. But What's the name of your lung care, sir? Flow Nose Lung and Maintenance Care. Okay, y'all do trees? <laughs> not really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you do trees. Okay, I want to talk to you after this. Because the trees. Is going over on us. I know, I know. I know, I know messing up my trucks. I know, I know, I know, so I know. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, you too. God bless right. you too. Appreciate right. the time, Thank now. You. Yes, sir. Thank Thank you. 
Ты опять там выйдет.
Hey y'all. This is the backyard. I'll be tackling this next. So y'all get ready. That's the next video, the backyard. All right, y'all, that concludes that part one of that video. Like I said, that was a complete jungle. Crazy, that's one of the worst I've ever dealt with. <laughs> but it look, it's looking good now. But anyway, if you're new, thank you for stopping by the channel. Spend a little time with GDR, man. Consider hitting that like and that subscribe button and that bell to be notified for upcoming videos I do post, which I do have some over 200 videos, you know, short, long content. I greatly appreciate you. Uh, as well if you are on tiktok or instagram please follow me on those platforms tiktok yardman g and instagram the same as the channel name g the yardman i would love for y'all to follow me and check out the other content i do post you know mainly short shorter clips so check me out over there follow me and before we go don't forget to check out those latest videos i posted y'all i've got four videos that i posted this month that's still circulating that I would love for y'all to check out after this one. One in particular, the gas station that was abandoned at the hedges is about, I would say 18, about 20, 25 feet actually, because I had to get on my ladder. I'm six foot five, so I had to get up on my extended ladder, clean clean out those hedges and click, you know, get that place all spruced up and nice. That place was, was a vibrant uh, little truck stop and restaurant. It got shut down. Uh, after the COVID situation and now you know you have homeless people and substance abusers that's running rampant around there I actually encountered one as I was doing my walkthrough so you will see that as well also I helped out a couple that had to deal with a slumlord or dealing with a slumlord actually who promised them lawn care never happened I cleaned up that lawn I checked out cleaned out the fence line everything so the yard is back up to par and it's lawn official now uh, my other video I did as well, clean up an animal shelter that has been abandoned uh, post COVID. They shut down, found out they relocated. I had an interview with a, a, a local citizen and she told me that, but that place was just written in and she was like, I greatly appreciate you for doing that, sir. And I interviewed her, so check that video out. And lastly, SB Moen came to Houston area, which is Fresno, outside of Houston, let me correct myself, Fresno, which is outside of Houston. He came to Fresno's Lawn Care Equipment Repair uh, because he is sponsored by Murayama and they did a meet and greet and it was awesome. So check out that vlog of me meeting SB Moen. It was awesome. So in closing, God bless you all. Continue to be a light and a happy hand to those who are in need that need service within your communities. I'm GDR Man and y'all stay lawn official. Until the next one, holla, peace.